Hey Kyle, this is Alex Stemley with Stemley Consulting Group and in this video I'm going to show you three things that you can do today to help bring in more customers to your business. I've actually found by giving people an easy free attack plan of actual things that they can do to impact their business for free, it's actually resulted in some of those local business owners still raising their hands and saying, I like you, Alex, please do this for me. So if at the end of this video you've liked what you've heard and you can see that I have a lot of tricks on my sleeve uh, that can help with getting more clientele and uh, boosting revenues, please shoot me a message back and we can chat. Or if at the end of this video you simply want to take this free attack plan I gave you to do yourself, that works for me too. So now let me show you three things that you can do with that, that will help you set your company above the, the competition uh, and not waste any more of your time or mine. So the first thing I want to go over Kyle is something called content. Now what content is is basically anything that you can see on a website uh, whether that be pictures with uh, words saved behind them, uh, words themselves, videos, all of the above is considered content. Now, generally, I'd like to pull up a video to kind of come, or not a video, but a web page, your web page to kind of compare where you're at compared to other people. But being that we're at, you know, we're at step one, so building the website is imperative at this point. Uh, but I do want to show you the kind of tricks and things that we're able to do uh, once the website is in and we're doing things correctly okay so when it comes to content basically what people see on that website Google likes there to be at least uh, generally 1500 words to really be optimized and what I mean by that is getting you up to the you know the, the, the top page of Google getting you in that in that very very front page at the top okay that's the goal for everything uh, so generally they like 1500 words uh, at minimum the more you have the better it is uh, and not only do we just want words when it comes to content uh, we actually want something called keyword rich content now what a keyword is is basically any time that you go online and you uh, whatever you type into that search bar those are considered keywords so for instance if I put landscaping Indianapolis Indiana well that would be a keyword phrase we would want to have those words throughout your content at some point okay now unfortunately it's not as easy as just going in building that website and throwing in as much content as you can and throwing in as many keywords as you can you actually have to space them out correctly Google actually will ding you if they find too many keywords uh, not appropriated space wise um, they consider that keyword stuffing so luckily here at Stemley Consulting Group we actually have an algorithm put together uh, so we know exactly where to put different keywords when to put them and just how many times okay so it's definitely something we, we can talk about at, at a a later conversation but I did pull up some of the competition in the areas with some of the things that you do just to kind of show you examples of what people are doing and uh, you know and what they're not doing and how we can really uh, take them out okay so the first company I pulled up here uh, is something called Green Acres Landscape and Design out of Indianapolis here As you see very nice website very professionally made uh, kind of going through pictures of what they do residential and commercial uh, got their sales and things that they have going on est free estimates all kinds of different things on here very very nice website okay now like I said the f uh, main thing when it comes to your website especially the home page we like to have at least 1500 words on there so I actually pulled up a website word counter so we could see exactly what they have here so as you can see they have 2151 words on that home page that is fantastic that's exactly what we're looking for uh, you know when, when you really want your website to, to boom uh, the way you want it to and bring in that revenue. Uh, but again, 2,151, that is how many words are on that page. That is not how many, uh, how much, key, how many keywords are there. So let's actually look at the keywords. I have a program that I, I buy every month uh, that, that I stay with. It costs about $400 a month, but it gives me all the analytics of every single thing that I could want to know on anybody's website when looking and uh, doing rankings and figuring out what, what we need to do. Uh, it's called Arifs. So right here, you can see just from there, we had over 2,000 word content, right? Well, you can see right here, out of that 2,000 words, they're getting found for 274 uh, different keywords, which is pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. But the nice thing there, you see that's bringing about 856 people to their website a month. That's kind of what we're looking for. We want to, you know, boost you up as much as we possibly can to where you know you have to turn down jobs because you're getting so much that's what we're looking for we want you to grow 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 uh, as fast as possible uh, and the way to do that is organically uh, through Google and doing things correctly okay so that's just the first one I pulled up next company I pulled up so you can see the residential handyman not quite the same quality of website as you can see uh, they have you know their name and then there's a picture of their truck and things uh, 
and then just kind of tells what areas that they're in. Okay, not a whole lot there. Uh, so let's kind of look at their analytics here. And of course, you have your photo gallery, credential services, contact, things of that nature on different pages. But let's go over here and look at their. So they're only getting found for nine words on that home page. Uh, so just not not getting the job done. Uh, and you, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about here when I go over to my Arif's page. So as you can see, they're getting found all throughout their website for only 41 keywords. Okay. Uh, so not very many. So they're only getting about 89 different people to their website every month. Uh, you know, not where they want to be, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully they're you know still bringing in the revenue that, that they're looking to do but this would be a very very easy competition to take out okay and then I did pull up uh, one last one here I want to kind of look at this one here precision cuts lawn care uh, as you can see this one very nice website as well uh, very bright very colorful uh, you know your eyes are glued to the page which is very very good uh, and they have you know some some good stuff on there as well some review things uh, with a good phone number there so a call to action that's great uh, let's look at their analytics or let's look at their web page word counter so the downside for them is they are only getting found for 578 words on that home page so again they're missing the boat uh, they need to put in about another thousand there just to really be optimized properly uh, from there let's go look at the other analytics here and you can see they're on they're actually getting found for about 500 keywords which is great uh, bringing about 174 different people to their website every month. So with their keywords, that's fantastic. What they're where they're missing the boat really is with the content. Okay, so put those two together, and that 174 over here would jump significantly. But these are different things that most people don't look at, most people don't know, and that's why here at Stanley Consulting Group, we know all the ins and outs to you know get you more clientele, what we can do to really boost that revenue. Okay. So that's just the first thing that I really want to talk about was the content. Now, the next thing that I really want to uh, focus on is something called uh, the GMB or the Google Google My Business or uh, some people just refer to it as the Map Pack. And what I mean by that is basically uh, you go into Google, as you know, you I typed in Lawn Care, Sir, Lawn Care Indianapolis. So as you know, a little map pulls up here and then underneath the map generally are about three businesses. Every once in a while there's an ad on at the top, but people are paying for that, which can be good or bad. A lot of people have their ad blocker on, so they'll never see that. Uh, but as you can see, there's the top three businesses. Now, how do you get on there and what's important about that? Well, number one, you get on there by registering with Google. How do you do that? Well, you go and uh, Google My Business. You put in all your information that you have about your company. What they're looking for is company full name. They're looking for uh, address, phone number, hours of operation. Uh, they want they like to have about 20 pictures uh, they want keywords behind those pictures they like a description on there they like that description to be about 500 words that's keyword rich as well and then as many five-star reviews as you can absolutely get once you get all of those things up and moving you're gonna be on that list and you're gonna be up in that top three very very quickly now why would you want to be in that top three well think about it me personally if I'm looking for something and I'm in a hurry to find it, I'm gonna go on Google I'm gonna type it in and I'm just probably gonna look at the first three businesses on there why am I gonna do that because it's human nature just to look at the top ones there and think oh they're right there they must be the best now whether that's right or wrong I can't tell you uh, but that's just generally what people are gonna do and that's why it's important to get all your information in and do things the correct way because then you're going to be up there and people are going to be clicking on you okay so that's a very very easy way to move forward uh, w w with your Google My Business GMB some people even just call it uh, putting citations in a citation which is very very important that is, is what this says a directory is a citation and that's what a Google My Business is it's a directory uh, so we also it's very important to get on as many directories as absolutely possible generally uh, to, to really get optimized again by Google you need you know 250 to 350 citations just to get get you going a lot of times you need many 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 more but that is a great starting point okay now the last thing that I want to talk about and probably the most important in my opinion is going to be uh, your back-end SEO something called backlinks okay now what a backlink is is any time on any website I can go to any website on the internet and on that website it says check out you know my good friend Kyle uh, Davis and son you know lawn and landscaping 
and there's at, underneath that there's a link to your website that is very very important that is considered a backlink if somebody can click on that link and it directs you directly to your website that is what you consider a backlink now backlinks are very 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 important uh, because not only will you be getting power from people going to your website but you're getting the power from the website that you are on so we want this to be pretty niche specific so you know if, if there's a uh, big big you know for handyman for instance if Bob Vila had a uh, had a blog and was talking about all this handyman stuff or Tim the Toolman Taylor had the same thing and you know millions of people are following it well you would get the power from their website going to yours so we very very important to look at that so uh, let's pull up some and see where everybody's at with that as well so again over here with Green Acres let's see what they have uh, so they're getting found for 318 backlinks that's okay a lot of times you need many 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 more than that uh, you know generally just get optimized with that one three to four hundred Okay, uh, but again, depending on the niche and what you're looking for, a lot of times you need thousands to really bring you up. So 318, not not bad, uh, would be easy to take out. Now, how do we take out the competition when it comes to backlinks? Well, let me click on this and show you. Backlinks are not all considered equal. You know, I wouldn't want to put you on a Pizza Hut website. Why? Because you're not slinging pizzas. How we can figure out the best websites to put you on is this DR right here. It stands for Domain Rating. So Domain Rating is a scale from zero to 100. We want that number to be as close to 100 as possible on any website we put you on. Uh, the domain rating is the power. Uh, the more power you get, the better it is. You know, a lot of companies out there have tons of backlinks, but you find a lot of zeros, a lot of ones, a lot of, a lot of very low numbers. Those are just fluff. They're not actually doing anything for the website. So we need to find uh, concise, very, very strong websites. How do we do that? Well, our team goes through and we look at every single backlink that anybody has. Uh, then we decide we're, we're, which ones we are going to copy in that niche. So we're going to get the exact same ones, but then we're going to add the ones that we know that have a lot of power that other people aren't using. We have tons and tons and tons that uh, people don't know about. Okay. So as you go down through here, so you see a 46 here. That's you know that's very okay. Not really doing much. 70 is pretty good. 53. But then we come down. Look at these zeros. Not doing anything for them really. 54 okay. So a lot of these aren't very good. A lot of these we would not want on there. Uh, so just kind of shows you what we're looking for there. Let's look at some of the other competition here. Uh, so residential handyman over here, you can see it has 83 backlinks, so not near enough there. Uh, and you can kind of see it with the traffic that's coming in. Uh, and then we go over here to precision cuts and lawn care and let's look at them. So they only have 93. Okay. So they're missing the boat big time there, but let's kind of see what kind of power they're getting from theirs. 44, 23 again, these are all fluff, so missing the boat big time. These companies be very, very easy for you to take out uh, when the when the time comes. Okay, so first things first, we definitely need to get that website built. Uh, you know, I don't want to go into the weeds too much more with you right here. And definitely stuff we can we can talk about in the future. But you know, definitely number one is getting that website built. So uh, other things we went over in closing here. You know, number one, uh, other than the website, we talked about the content. Remember, we want to get that that front page with at least fifteen hundred words, and then quite a few words on all the other pages. Uh, from there, we talked about the Google My Business and citations. Remember, uh, at minimum uh, about two hundred fifty to three hundred fifty of these to beat out the competition. Um, and then we talked about the backlinks and the back end SEO. And like I said, that's probably the most important piece. What that really is, if you to, to put it in description, you know, you, you your website is going to be your truck, uh, you know, your truck that you love, uh, your big orange Dodge Ram. But the backlinks is going to be the gas so you can drive that truck. Okay. Without those backlinks, without the back end SEO, the truck is just sitting there not doing any good for you okay so definitely some uh, that, that we definitely need to, to work on there so uh, with all that you know you can either go with this information I provided you today and you can do this on your own I'm totally cool with that however if you do want the most effective route and save yourself some time uh, Kyle you can give me a call at 812 639 67 Six two. Once again, my name is Alex Stemley, and I am the president and CEO of Stemley Consulting Group. And again, our phone number, 812-639-6762. Look forward to hearing from you, Kyle. Bye.